Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. So in the last video, we did the four-inch lowering blocks, exhaust, rockers, and interior. A couple other small things in there, too, I'm sure. But today, we are going to be setting the bed on the truck. That is first thing first. Um, I'm not going to go too, too, too crazy with anything. It's going to stay white for right this second. Maybe I'll sand it down with some sandpaper and put some black spray paint over it for right now. Just to make it look decent. But uh, not really the best way to do it. But... I'm going to get that clamshell on and uh, get my blinker switch working. I'm going to make a metal piece of trim for that shift boot. Hopefully this video, uh, that is my plan anyway. Everything is looking pretty good. I got the truck going. I got to raise up the front a little bit to make it even with the rear. I don't want it too slammed. I mean, I do, but you know, uh, we're still waiting for bumper brackets to come in. And uh, I think the first things first is uh, I'm going to get some people, probably just my girlfriend and I, and we are going to get the bed on here. Get it bolted down, get the taillight harness on, get the taillights in. That gets me excited. Well, we've gotten the bed tightened down. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to come out and do the filler neck and uh, get the sanded down, throw some spray paint on it, get the back bumper on it. And uh, oh, I'm so excited to drive this thing. You guys have no idea. Well, I was pretty excited to start off the morning and uh, heard a couple scrapes and uh, I'm destroying the ground. There's no way I'll be able to get this on the lift to get front and aligned if I don't lift up that muffler. I was hoping it would be just high enough, but once my body weight's in there, it, it doesn't hold it i'm gonna go mess with that maybe make a pie cut bend the exhaust up a little bit hold it back together and call it a day i like that plan but now i gotta remake my hanger which is uh that's a fat l honestly though i think the exhaust is the only thing that's going to hold me up uh about getting the alignment so i got plenty of time today i think i am on a time crunch because today is the deadline i need to get this in to get aligned hopefully by the end of the night I always can tomorrow, but I'm too impatient for all that. I still got to hang up the filler neck, all sorts of things. I'm going to bolt up the sides of the fenders, though. Those, uh, those need that right now. It'll fix that panel gap. And then I'm going to get under here and, uh, like I said, fix up that exhaust. We're getting there, boys. I'm just extending it out so I can have the muffler now come up in this, uh, this giant empty pocket of bed space. Um, it's all temporary. It's just to drive around for probably a couple months. But... Gonna get this all welded up, get it on the truck, and hopefully we don't scrape like that anymore. I'm hoping there was some type of misunderstanding. I got the bumper bracket a day early, but the problem is, it's bracket, not brackets. That is a problem. I, I'm a little disappointed, actually. I hope, uh, I hope the second one magically comes in. I'm gonna plug the battery back in, and then I think uh, it's so hard to gauge what the fitment of the front is going to be without the tailgate and bumper on, so... I think I'm going to give that bed a quick spray paint job and then bring it in, put the bumper and tailgate on, and then match the front with the rear. As far as ride height goes, it's going to sink a little bit after I start driving it, and that way I'll be able to get my front in alignment. I've gotten the uh, fuel tunnel all hooked up here, so I'm just going to sand this down, give it a quick uh, spray paint. Probably just throw a bag over the wheels so they don't get too uh, oversprayed, and just sand it. Get this truck all one color. May leave the rockers alone for right this minute. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to do much prepping because it's all going to come off anyway. It's just to make it look one color going down the street temporarily until, um, I don't know, it might stay that way over the winter. But uh, I got to pull all the dents and stuff, grind it down to bare metal. So just, uh, just a good show what we got going on. Check that out. All one color-ish, about two different shades of black. And again, it is just spray paint. I got to do the inside of the bed still. That's where it gets ugly, but... For what it is, I'm pretty happy. And we got the tailgate on now. Ooh, it's really starting to come together. Once that's all spray painted black too, it really won't look that terrible. Is the best way to put it. Unfortunately, the stripes are gonna have to come off. I don't know if we'll do that this video or not, but uh once that frame is all cleaned up too, like it's it's gonna be a really, really sick truck. Um Gonna pull it back over to the garage, get the wiring harness back in place, get the taillights in, and get the back bumper on. And uh, then we take it over to get a front and alignment. Oh, and I also have to raise up that front suspension to match the rear. Uh, 
any any amount I can bring it off the ground is essentially good, uh, in all fairness. The tail lights in place. Next, I'm gonna run the harness, get that bumper on. Ooh, I'm so hyped. This is coming out sick. Adjust suspension. And actually, I think I'm gonna put the kick panels in for right now because I did paint the uh, Thor sill slash rockers black. So I actually forgot that I uh, left the tail light harness. So I just have to tie this up, tie this up, make sure all the cords are out of the way, those cords are out of the way. And uh, I'm gonna unplug the roll pan factory lights and I've already plugged in my bumper lights. Bam, back bumper is on. I am in love with it, man. Oh, it's so, so sick. Literally just gotta pick up some spray paint, finish off the inside of that bed. Man, legit, just so, so happy with this. And uh, now I'm going to do this uh, front bumper. I don't know, I gotta tie up my lights and my plate somewhere just for now, unfortunately, uh, just so I can bring it down the road until I can get the other bracket for my bumper. Uh, but it should be fine. I don't see a problem with that. And then lift it up, put the fuel door on. That's another thing. I keep saying I got to lift it up. It's, it's coming. Um, I've, I just started to mount my blinker switch in there. And eventually I'll change out this door. It's got a little rotting. And I'll probably, unfortunately, peel the decals as well at some point soon. Okay, going on our first little, uh, first little drive. I'm kind of excited. I'm uh, just messing with the suspension right now, so I gotta take it around. But not too bad so far. Hope it just kind of tracks straight, cause I, I still gotta go get that front end alignment today. Tough times in Maine, boys. We uh, had a pretty big shooting up in Lewiston, Maine, and I know this is primarily a car content channel, and don't mean to uh, bring anybody down by this news, but uh, my heart goes out to anybody who uh, lives in the Lewiston community and um, anybody who may know somebody that's affected. So uh, if anybody needs someone to talk to, please don't hesitate to reach out. I just feel as though it's uh, always good to kind of update you guys with some current world events as we uh, move through this channel. Um, just, you know, we're all living life and uh, just things that happen in life. And um, seriously, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. But uh, I did just come back from our first driving the truck and uh, a couple little things that need to be worked out essentially obviously we know that our uh, our wheel wells are going to eat these tires and i don't think it's going to cause me any massive issues today but i do need to order some rear shocks for now um just to make it drivable static uh, i got a couple little wobbles i think that pinion angle is cooked back there um but it's all right i, I kind of figured as much just need to measure up the front and see uh, if I need to bring it up or down, uh, that's what I'm in the middle of doing now. And then we're going to go get that front end alignment with uh, with our homie Shaq. Look at this. I have a uh, insanely sick package in here for you guys to see. I'm almost done leveling out the truck. I got to lift up the side, tighten up the torsion bar just a little, and then uh, tighten up my nut, drive it out, drive it back in, check the measurements, and I will be good. I actually might also see if my two-wheel drive shocks would fit under here. It would uh, save me some trouble. Okay, friends, check this out. The bed is drying up pretty good, actually. I only did one coat, so a couple more coats, and actually this would be pretty fire. But if you can see back there, we got rear shocks now. Did it over here. I got one little ground strap. I guess I should tie up somewhere. Seems important. And uh, other than that, I'm going to take it out of the garage and test the uh the the fitment essentially uh once i pull it out it's gonna lower down because i just had it lifted up a minute ago and uh as long as it's pretty level i'll be pretty happy with that and then uh i'm super excited to show you guys what came in everything's about a six inch gap from the top of the wheel to the bottom of my fender or wheel well on each side i'm gonna roll this thing out and uh, show you guys what i got for the truck just another very fun quick clip Never in my life. I always dreamed of what it would be like to see the black truck lowered. And it's insane that that dream is real. Like, I'm looking at my black truck on the ground. Absolutely, like, unfathomable. Um, I added some 4x4 four four Rough Country 2-inch lift shocks, actually, in the rear. In hopes that they actually will bottom out before the wheel hits, which it looks like it will. So I don't have to worry about destroying that rear wheel well anymore. Wow, dude, super, super happy. Um, 
And I believe I still have time in this video. I'm still gonna go get this thing fun and aligned. Looks pretty straight for the most part to get there. I mean, who knows how bad it is. That wheel might be out a little bit, but yeah, we'll worry about it when we get to the alignment rack. This side is uh, not perfect. Um, again, big dents and stuff, but we're nowhere near done the project. We've just are almost done completing the swap over to two wheel drive. And now I have just some super sick winter beater. Um, I'm gonna get that gas door on there. Probably look a little funny because it's going to be a different black. I'll just sand it down and paint it later. Um, but seriously, guys, the progress on this has just been unreal. Now I'm going to show you what I got. I actually just I'll just keep filming. You guys ready for this? Always dreamed of having this too. Chrome fender filet trim. I am uh, ecstatic about this. Oh, that's sick. It says uh, hard hard body down there. Oh, it tells you to back right, front right. Yeah, this is going to uh, make the lowrider truck build just insanely come to life. I think in the thumbnail, I don't, I don't even know if I'll have this in the thumbnail. I, I don't know. I mean, we just made way too much progress <laughs> in one video. Once that front bumper comes in too, the truck is just going to insanely come together just amazingly. But uh, I'm going to see what it takes to get these on. So as I test fit the chrome fender flare trim, I guess I am going to use screws to hold it in place. So... Uh, I'll get back to you guys on that, but for right now, I'm just trying to tie up just the rest of the loose ends. Even if this doesn't happen in this video, it'll happen next. Um, I'm going to get the sub in the truck, and then I'm actually going to pull off this trim and make an incision just uh, right around here and cut down. My foot's hitting it at the top of the clutch. I don't know why this pedal sits so, so high. Um, I guess that's something I thought should have thought about was grabbing the two-wheel drive clutch pedal. It must be so much different than this one in uh i guess all the pedals honestly um like none of that is going to even hit that stop so i assume all of the pedals are so much more different and uh it's okay right now i don't mind but i guess i do need to uh make a little bit of space so i'm gonna cut this out a little bit which uh i haven't screwed it in yet so honestly I should just pull right out so now i gotta run my new speaker wire for the sub i gotta run it from the amp over to the speaker Got it all cut out using actual speaker wire. I think I need, gotta move the seat forward now on the other side. Just take an Allen key, run that wire, put it in, and uh, I will have a sub again, which will make cruising way more fun. Figured I'd do that before the chrome trim just, uh, just to get it out of the way. All right, just gotta move the seat back and maybe I'll try to attempt to get that on. I'm just not sure if I have enough time. But uh, got this JB Weld drying on there right now. There's a Lexus truck. Got the sub in there. See, I can't put it all the way back, though. It's the only downside of the sub. I did trim out the panel, get that screwed in. I mean, making some crazy progress. But uh, even if this is all I do today, I mean, what a successful day. All right, guys, so I'm on an extreme time crunch. I'm going to try this anyway, but I'm going to take the wheel off and uh, send this in with some screws. And check this out. Oh, that's looking so sick. This is like exactly how I dreamed of the low rider truck to look. And, uh, wow. Man, the only thing I wish I kept is those stripes. This is just like phenomenal how awesome this looks. Don't mind the crushed bedside, but our homie Trey just stopped by. I got some, uh, got some wood to go, uh, try to get this thing up on the uh, alignment rack. Kind of exciting uh, to see my truck move under its own power outside of it. Oh, that's sick. So our friend Joe's got a whole custom exhaust on his uh, CRV. Let's hear it. <laughs> it sounds really good. It's the K24, so it's just perfect. But that, yeah, that sounds amazing. <laughs> we got the truck all aligned and uh look at the ls 400 thank you chef and uh all right guys so i'm gonna call that a video we're gonna end it off with the ls 400 because it's just a beautiful car if you want to see some more mini truck content in the future don't forget to like and subscribe peace out